Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are, uh, didn't get a video up yesterday. I showed up at work at about 7.30, and the uh, road was so muddy that as soon as I left the rock with my truck, it uh, spun out, and uh, it was too wet to work. So we came home, and uh, I had to would have made a video, but I needed to get back into cell service to where I could uh, cancel my dump trucks because I had two different trucks running, and uh, it wasn't going to happen. So today we are going to uh, do some maintenance. We got to change oil. Uh, I got to get my alternator and uh, AC belt replaced. So not really looking forward to that. Uh, AC belt is first, and it can be a bit of a pain to get everything loose, but uh, the alternator belt's not too bad if the AC belt's out of the way. So we'll get the oil draining and get going at it here. good black stuff out of here yeah I change my oil every 150 hours I think the book says 500 hours and I just do not feel that that's often enough my personal opinion but I just oh, look how black that is that's 150 hours I just uh, I don't know oil's cheaper than a motor or a turbo Change oil in my finals every uh, 150 hours with the engine oil too. Again, way more often than uh, the book says, but uh, I don't see any damage in doing it too often. It's my money I'm wasting, not somebody else's, so. We'll let that drain down for a while and I'll uh, get the stuff and start draining the oil out of the uh, the finals. Yeah, I'll just take a wire brush and just kind of give a little clean in there before I uh, pull them off. Just trying to get uh, keep from getting contamination in there. Actually, I got a little pick I run around there. I better get that. Gonna take that around because. Things get kind of built up in there and the brush don't reach down in there and like I say don't want contaminants in there. Yes. Yeah, I need I need more stuff. Not too bad. The wind's kind of blowing today, so and, uh, these cameras don't seem to like that. I don't have any kind of sound deadening stuff on it as I've said in the past always open a top one first there's always pressure in here and if you open the uh, bottom one first it blows uh, gear oil all over you and gear oil is foul stuff. It stinks. One machine I uh, oh no. I uh, forgot to change the uh, final oils when I should have and they went too long and they uh, it kind of got burnt and it was a uh, very foul smelling stuff. Okay, we'll go around and get the other side draining and uh, then we'll get to uh, changing the belts while all this is draining. Two for the belts. Get this guard off. Let's see. Yeah, my magnetic bolt holder works really well. Okay, get the guard out of the way. There we go. Yeah, get that back up. 
in a minute. I gotta do some uh, remembering on how to uh, loosen up the AC compressor because I know that uh, there's more to it than just that bolt. Okay, deep down in there, there is a 17 millimeter headed bolt which should release the uh, the plate. I think that's the only one. Got your little lock nut right here. Twelve millimeter on that. Ooh, that is tight. There we go. Okay. Once you get that bolt back in there, loosened up, just grab this uh, the belt and give it a tug. That will. Uh, pull the uh, tensioner, that's a tensioner. This unit doesn't move. The tensioner slides. So pull that, it gives you slack. You want more slack. Not tons of room to work in there. And there's dirt in the threads, so that don't help none. Get that belt off of that. Get it out here in the fan. Start working it around the fan to where you get in front of the fan. Just keep rotating. Lifting it over the blades. So you get the to the last blade. So that's the uh, AC belt. Actually, the AC belt don't look that bad. We're replacing it anyways. Uh, we're right at 1,600 hours. There's that one. Alternator belt. I need to get a little more slack on that. If the old one's coming off that hard, the new one's going to be even worse. Okay. So, same process. Get it worked over the fan blade. And on the uh, bolt on the idler for the, uh, or the tensioner for the uh, AC, don't use a ratchet, a big ratchet, anyhow. Cause I got it in there and got it loose and it backed the bolt off up against the uh, fan. And uh, I had quite the little time. We didn't bother you with that part, but I uh, had quite the little time getting, uh, getting that off there. Now the alternator belt, look at that. That was not far from, uh, this wasn't long for this world. So, uh, it will uh, reverse the process here. Okay, reverse the process. And you're all the way around. There. Okay, now, we've got to get down around the bottom pulley on the crankshaft and the pulley on the fan and my head's probably in the way okay there we go okay oh my goodness don't wear a black shirt for doing stuff like this. So now, 
after you find a spot that uh, you're not going to hurt anything. Do not pry on the fins of the uh, unit. Be sure you're pulling on something hard metal in there because, ow, that really hurt. That was a smack right to the side of the head. Okay. A little tension on it as you're tightening it. Okay. These need to be pretty tight or they, uh, Look at that. Wife's going to kill me. Got to have them pretty tight or they, uh, they uh, definitely uh, will loosen up on you. Or they'll squeal. Yeah. Same process. Other than I just made a terrible mistake. I tightened the uh, fan down to where I can't turn the fan. That was not very smart of me. Let's see if we can get it without. Yeah, I can still kind of turn it. So now, we've got to get back in there behind that little uh, tensioner. I'm going to have to move the camera. I doubt you can see anything in there anyhow. Because I can't hardly see anything in there. And we're out of the crankshaft again. Okay. Back in the crankshaft. And off the pulley. Let's try the pry bar again. It'd be really nice if I could see. So close, so close. Okay, ah. we got it on the idler. So now I just gotta get it wrapped up into here. And I could really use a little more slack. We are so close. I got myself a little more slack. There we go. Okay. We're in. We're in. Okay, I am going to cheat now. I don't want to get it too tight. I don't think I'll go any tighter now. That feels about right. Okay, now we got to get back in there and tighten that uh, big bolt back up. Okay, the 3 8 drive ratchet will fit in there. Half inch drive ratchet is just a bit big. Wish I had a little longer handle on it, but okay. Okay, all of our tensions feel good. 
It only seems like new belts kind of loosen up quickly. Get our guard back on. Okay, that is changing the AC and uh, alternator belt on a Kubota 040. Kind of sucks. What did we look? Do not forget to tighten up your uh, your lock nut on the AC. I almost did. is much easier with the guard off. I'm not sure I'm going to get it with the guard on. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty snug. But... Do that before you put the guard back on. And we'll get our oil filter off. Little oil wrenches that Kubota gives gives to you, I guess they. Oh, 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 oh. oil pan under it. I almost made a mess. Anyways, the oil wrenches that uh, Kubota gives to you machines I guess they still give them to you with the 040s the 121s they did so I've got several of them they uh, actually work fairly well okay, got the old one out always oil the oops get the plastic all the way off of it that matters too There we go. I always oil the the ring. I think these kind of are pre-lubed, but I do that anyways. And I just realized I didn't uh, wipe the surface area down. So I just wipe the surface area off and get all the excess oil. And again, any debris that might be on there off. Okay, now we'll put the filter in. Let's start it down, that way if something falls off the alternator or something, it does not fall into the filter. Maintenance on these really are pretty, pretty simple and pretty easy. Those belts are, uh, they kind of suck, but just lack of room to get in there and work. Well, they say not to use a wrench to tighten it, but it's hard to get your hand in there, and I just don't get crazy with it. A little bit more. That should be good. We're ready to... Oh, nope. Got to put the drain plug in. Then we're ready to put oil in it. back together here clean these off real good okay ready for when we uh, there we go 
Okay. Got my pumper here. Yeah. Pump until we have oil come out. carried away there I always let it uh, I can pump it in so fast with this I always let it sit for a minute just to be sure I've got it full because this oil is so thick that uh, you pump it in really fast like that it can uh, come out the hole but not have all the little uh, areas full pump it real slow and we have flowage. A little bit of that bleed off. Don't want it over full. Get in there. There we go. Okay, one more plug off, get that out, okay, tight. excess off and ready to do the other side well that's our maintenance for today I'll get the other side uh, finished up and don't think you need to see both sides they both work the same way so well we learned three things today one do not use a uh, half inch drive uh, ratchet on the uh, holding bolt for the AC two do not tighten the uh, alternator belt down before you get the AC belt over the fan. And three, do not let the uh, pry bar slip and punch yourself in the face. So, every day is a learning experience. So, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.